So recently I've seen anxiety pop up all over the place. In friends, in family, in my wife actually. I made sure it was okay with her, but she was okay with me sharing with you that she has been dealing with some pretty severe anxiety as of lately. And, and the more I look at it, the more I seek scripture, the more I see it pop up in the world around me from friends telling me about it, from my wife, from seeing it on TV shows, from hearing pastors that I've followed for years suddenly start speaking about it. And I, I believe at this moment that anxiety is a huge problem in our nation. And it's that we are all worried and concerned and anxious about something that each and every one of us, we have something to be worried about. And I think that's true for each and every one of us. It's true for me, it's true for my wife, it's true for you that we're worried about something. And for some of us, our anxiety is so severe that we can't think about anything else other than what we are currently worried about. And if that's you and you're in that situation and your anxiety, it affects you every single day. If your anxiety stresses you out and it keeps you worried and it keeps you from enjoying life, enjoying all the things there are to enjoy. If, if that's how your anxiety is, then I have a couple tips that I wanna share with you today. Now I have one that I think is incredibly powerful and I'm gonna share that one at the end, but I have two more that comes before that, that has actually helped my wife and I pray that it'll help you as well. Number one is that you simply seek God more. And I think that's kind of the cliche one. It's the one you thought I was gonna say. And I'm gonna go ahead and say it first because I think it's very important that we do spend more time with God in prayer, in scripture, and in meditation, and, and that we just spend more time with God, that we simply seek God more. I believe that's incredibly important. I do wanna make the distinction that I do not believe that anxiety is caused by a lack of time with God. I've heard a few Christians and a few Christian leaders say something along those lines. I do not believe that is the case. My wife is one of the most godly people I've ever met in my entire life and she is suffering with anxiety. I do not believe that anxiety is caused by a lack of faith. I believe that anxiety is something that comes over us and it is a worry that kind of can overtake us. I do believe that some of that can be relieved through constant prayer, meditation, and scripture reading by seeking God more that some can be relieved. And that has helped my wife is that when she feels anxious, she opens up her phone and she opens up the Bible app and she goes through a devotion. The second thing that has helped my wife more than probably anything else is simply community. She communes more and it's simply this. It's not as fancy and as spiritual as it sounds. It's hanging out with people that make you happy. Right, it's hanging out with people that make you smile. It's people that you can trust, people you can lean on, people you can reveal your problems to and you won't be judged. For her, it's our group of leaders. It's our, our leadership team with the youth ministry. Our leadership team is our community. It's our people, it's our friends. She can hang out with them, she can love on them. They will understand her problems, she can cry to them. And I'm right there in the mix and it's important that you have someone that you enjoy to spend time with that you can trust with your problems. And number one, I think, is the most powerful, the most practical, and the most unexpected. And it's simply this, laugh more, smile more, do more things that you enjoy to do, and do less things that you don't enjoy to do. And you're like, Jeff, I don't see how that's going to fix anything. And you won't until you're five minutes into a comedy skit and you're laughing so hard that you've forgotten about everything else that is weighing you down. Now, I'm not saying that's a permanent fix, but at least for the moment, you'll feel better. And I believe that laughing, that laughter is the best medicine. I believe that if we could simply laugh more, that we could smile more, whether that's us taking up a hobby, whether that's us watching comedy, whether that's us binge watching some John Chris videos, I love to do that or if that's us binge watching some Tim Hawkins, like I love those dudes, those Christian comedians, look them up if you need some laughter. But I think if we can laugh more, if we can smile more, if we can simply enjoy life more, that that anxiety will come down level by level by level because it is no longer in control of us. Our mind is now being consumed with positive thoughts, emotions, and feelings. So my number one tip is simply to smile more and to laugh more. Do those things and I promise you will feel a little bit better anyway. And guys, remember, I don't want to end this without saying this one thing, that if you're dealing with anxiety or you're dealing with depression, don't go at it alone. Tell someone else. Seek someone else. If you don't have anyone else, go to the About section of my YouTube channel. My email address is listed there. Send me an email. Look me up on Facebook or Instagram and talk to me. 
I'm here for you guys. But I promise you there's someone else in your life that's there for you too. And if there's not, join a good church and you'll find somebody. Don't go it alone. God never intended for us to handle our struggles, to, never intended for us to handle our anxieties, our depression alone. We were never built to be alone. Remember, he created Adam and Eve. He created a partner for Adam from the very beginning. We were always meant for community. We cannot handle the struggles, the stresses, the depressions, the anxieties, the burdens we face alone, and we were never meant to. We're meant to be surrounded with people, so find community, find someone you can love and someone you can trust, and seek them and tell them and be open with them and be honest with them. Seek help. There's no shame in that. Seeking help does not make you weak, it makes you strong. A weak person keeps it bundled up inside. A strong person is confident enough to tell the people around them what's going on. All right, guys, I love you, and like I said, I'm always here for you. If you ever need me, shoot me an email, find me on social media. I'm always here. All right, I'm gonna get inside because it is freezing. Love you guys, keep living that bold life.